Today in the Sandwich Generation, when is the last time you had your eyes checked? Experts say more than 4 million Americans ages 40 or older are visually impaired. And February is Low Vision Awareness Month. Here to tell us more is Dr. Chris Palmer, a low vision specialist from Low Vision Restoration. Thanks for being here with us today. Thanks for the opportunity, Adrian. No problem. Well, let's just get right to it and begin by talking about good eye health and what that includes. Well, the recommendation would be to have your eyes checked uh, yearly or at least every other year. Um, we're looking for things that can affect your vision. Me as an eye care, as a vision, I'm a low vision specialist. I do normal eye care as well, but in this case, with Low Vision Awareness Month, I'm here um, on behalf of the patients that have lost vision. No matter what kind of glasses or contact lenses or surgery that are available, um, it's vision that's not good enough to do what that person wants to be able to do, even with those devices. Mm -hmm. Is that how you would describe low vision? Low vision, yeah. And are these some devices that can help folks who have low vision? I see you've got some yep. glasses on the table. So there's a couple examples of um, optical devices that I use. There are non-optical devices as well. Um, there are vision rehabilitation services out there. These here in particular are devices that are um, they're like miniaturized binoculars or telescopes. They're the same quality as a surgeon's loops and to a dentist's loop or a jeweler's loops to do their job. But these are people that that have lost vision that um, need a device like that and others that are for them to be able to do what they want to be able to do in their everyday life. And talk a little bit, what are some of the signs and symptoms? How, how do you know yeah. that you're it's, heading down that path? That's right. So certainly during a normal eye exam, a lot of the diseases and conditions that we can find, uh, like macular degeneration is very common these days, Stargardt's disease, glaucoma, albinism, um, optic atrophy or diseases that I tend to work with um, most often. But symptoms could be blurry vision, certainly, but it can also be dark, dark spots in a person's vision, blind spots, tunnel vision. Mm. Can you, I think we have some examples of tunnel vision versus uh, normal vision. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it like if someone's seeing, okay, see if you look at your screen here, I guess on the right. Okay, so that, that would be, so the first picture there was, um, uh, would be like a dark spot or a blind spot in the middle of a person's vision. Those are a couple of examples there would be macular degeneration and uh, Stargardt's disease. That's a symptom of that. Tunnel vision would be like, I don't know if one of the screens was um, where a person's side vision or peripheral vision is gone. So the, they can't see left, right, or up and down. And, and for those who have macular degeneration, I met one woman before. She said it's like having Vaseline smeared on your eyes. Yeah. And there's no, no cure, so how, a, how do you treat? There, there are ways to help them slow down the process that happens in macular degeneration, but really how does it, like in my case, how do I help a person and others like me, how do we help them live their life easier? How do they do things? It's with macular, de it's with uh, magnification. The only way to help people see things easier and better is to make things look bigger and closer, which makes them easier to see. All right, well, great tips this morning. Thank you for your time.